friends, I'm Lily, and today I'm going to give you my opinion about Spanga. What's Spanga, Lily? Well, let me tell you what Spanga is, so now you guys will be interested in this video. Benjamins in my pocket. Basically, Spanga is spinning for 20 minutes, strength training for 20 minutes, and yoga for 20 minutes. Combining all together, making a 60 minute workout of different things, and it's amazing. I wasn't going to make any more videos because I had all of them ready for when I was going to Mexico, but I was so excited about this one that I wanted to share it with you guys, so here we are. I went to Spanga today with my friend Lydia, and I was super excited to try it because I'd seen some Instagram ads. I know, I clicked on another Instagram ad. But I saw it and I was like, heck yeah, I want to try this. It sounds like a really all-inclusive workout, like all-inclusive meaning as different like parts of your body that you're working out and I was super excited about it. So a little bit about the process of signing up. I just signed up for the free trial. It was pretty easy. You just had to sign up and then they text you and then you have to call. It actually is kind of difficult now that I think about it, but it really wasn't that difficult. You know, you can give somebody a call. It's not that big of a deal. The process that I really liked about it is that they told you to get there 20 minutes early and when you got there, they gave you a whole tour of it. They explained everything in detail, which I really liked because I have been trying a lot of different exercise facilities because my gym membership ended and I didn't want to renew it for another month because I'm leaving very soon. So I was like, oh, I'll just try a bunch of different places. I'm really hot, I'm taking this off. And a lot of the different places don't really give you a tour of it. They kind of just say, okay, go ahead and leave you to it. At the Spanga studio, they gave you like a whole tour of everything, like the spinning part, the strength part, and the yoga part. And I was super excited about that because it makes you feel more welcome and more at home instead of being stressed out, like, am I doing things right? Am I in the right place? Whatever. So that was a really cool thing about it. So they got us all set up for our class and then they left us to it. So now I'm gonna talk about the pro and cons. I'm going to start with the cons because I like to end on a positive note. So first of all, the cons are it's very pricey. Like honestly, a lot of these gyms I'm trying are pretty pricey, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's very pricey. They honestly didn't tell us at the end of it what like the cost was going to be. If you do sign up pretty soon, I think that you can get a deal where it's only $20.20 for the first month because of 2020. Obviously, I can't sign up because I'm going to Mexico, but it would be a really cool thing to start at a low price. They didn't really tell us the prices because both Lydia and I couldn't start right away because Lydia is going to be at Western and I'm going to be in Mexico so it's not like we could sign up right away so she didn't really tell us the prices I'm pretty sure you can look them up online and I think it's like 150 a month to go unlimited times which is a pretty expensive place to work out but it is a really good workout so you kind of have to weigh your pros and cons there if you're willing to pay a little bit more for a workout that might be worth it and then the only other con that I had is that it has class time going to a normal gym or going to something like nine round they don't actually have times that you have to go you can just go whenever they're open but Spanga you have to go at certain class times for me Personally, the class times would work with my work schedule, but if you have a very different or weird work schedule, it might not work well for you. But that's the only downside to it is that you have to go at specific times. But honestly, I feel like that's okay because they give you enough options of different times to go that it would be worth it, I guess. I don't know how to describe that more, but you know, you get what I mean, right? Okay, so now to the pros. There's a lot of pros. I really, really like this workout. So the first pro is that it's three different workouts in one. It's spinning, which I haven't really ever done before, and it's cardio, so it gets you warmed up. It gets you ready for the next parts of the workout, but it's only 20 minutes, so it's not like it's dragging on spinning, which is biking if you guys don't know what spinning is but I'm sure you guys do you're pretty smart the next section is the strength section and so that is they tell you something that you're gonna do and then they give you a three minute time interval to do those different workouts in in the strength section you have your own little section so you have your own dumbbells your own kettlebells your own medicine balls and then she tells you something to do for three minutes and then it also appears on the screen so you can know still what you're doing and then she gives you an amount of them to do and then you have to complete all of those over and over until the three minutes is up that was a really hard section I was exhausted after that I was beat but then we had 20 more minutes of yoga i also have never really done yoga before and that was a really nice thing i don't stretch that often i'm really unflexible but doing yoga was a really nice way to cool down after the two intense workouts that we did i like that it all combines together so after the end of the workout you're not feeling super exhausted super sore i might be sore tomorrow but i'm not sure obviously because it's today but it was really cool and i liked doing yoga at the end i was very unflexible and very in pain when i was doing it but it was like a good stretching pain not like a oh my gosh i'm gonna rip my muscles open pain i liked that it ended Ended on a note where they said be proud of what your body can do be happy that you completed this and like way to work out on a Saturday or something it's super encouraging at the end of a workout to hear like hey you did a good job and be happy that you did a good job basically so another pro is that it's guided which I really like classes that people tell me what to do because I'm not very skilled or knowledgeable in the workout realm of the world I know how to do things if somebody tells me <laughs> 
which obviously I feel like anybody knows how to do things if somebody tells them that's a stupid thing to say so I'm not like incompetent when it comes to working out but I'm not very good at coming up with my own workouts so I really like that it's guided so they tell you exactly what to do at all times so I also really like that it's a full body workout and it has different types of workouts I've said that before but I like that it starts with cardio then strength then like stretching or yoga so it combines a bunch of different things that I really would like to do with my workouts but don't normally tend to do and it kind of forces you to do them also it doesn't get boring because you are switching every 20 minutes so it can't really get boring in 20 minutes of something that you're doing does that make sense duh I like that it's a smaller gym or a gym with only one like basic area I don't like huge gyms I've been trying crunch fitness as well which is a gym my sister started going to and that's like a huge gym like a planet fitness granted those definitely tend to be cheaper but I don't really like the big atmosphere it gives me anxiety but that's just like a me problem and it doesn't really probably affect a lot of people but I like that it is in one area and you just move from section to section I think that's really cool I wrote down that I really appreciate the yoga at the end which I already stated because I really like stretching even though I never do end up stretching and last but not least I think this is a very fun workout I think it would be something that would be really good if you're not sure what kind of workout you like to do it gives you the best of all three worlds so that being said I would definitely try it out because you can try it out for free and if you have a lot of money to blow on working out go ahead and get a membership you can also get memberships that cost less money but you can only go a limited time per month and I don't really like that because I like to work out every day because I'm a psycho so I think that I would definitely do the unlimited but it just depends on what you want to spend your money on you guys know that I'm pretty cheap I don't spend a lot of money on big items or you know going out that much but I do spend a decent amount of money on working out but that's just my personal choice because I like working out it makes me feel good about myself it makes me feel good and happier anyways thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about Spanga you can leave them in the comments below and I will answer them and I appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later I don't know if the lady at the coffee shop put real caffeine in my coffee or I'm just feeling a random burst of serotonin, but today's a good day and I feel so happy and I just, I don't know, I'm terribly blessed. What am I even talking about? Spanga. Okay. <laughs> Sits down to make a video, forgets what the video is actually about. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Ah! Okay. So I actually, okay. <laughs>